So remember this thing, these little staples. They're literally staples, they're called staples. So I buffed out this thing already. I'm gonna try and find the holes on this. Now normally what I would do is I would use needle nose pliers for these, but I can't find mine right now, so I'm going to have to improvise. So what I'll do is I'm going to bend this over slightly, ever so slightly right here. So I bent one side down and there's one spiked end, okay? Now I'm going to try to get it to fit into the other hole slot that I made right there. Okay, so that's in there. We got one more spike inside of there. So I'm gonna make some room on this thing. Without screwing it up any more than I just did. Okay, and then the last bit is to do a clamp on that. It's not the best fit, but it'll work. Okay, so then what I do is I'll kind of bend it. This part, even if it doesn't match up like that, it's okay, it's going inside. So that's cool. <laughs> that part's done. Now, next stop. Let's put it on. Just slide it. It's called the keeper. So I slide it right here where these buttons are at. Stressful. Get there. Right. Then I put the buckle on, right, like so. Then I thread the buckle through here, making sure that the post is going through it. Okay. Then the first button. I'm gonna go ahead and snap that first button. Okay. Then make sure that this little bit is inside of the little spot here. Okay. And then got the second button. Now you got a keeper on it. So what that does is when you put the buckle through and you thread it. goes right through there that's what we call a keeper there you go done belt all set upside down but hey, it's like this way that way how about that